from a secret location in Hollywood, it's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. Oh, heavens. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you... Really care about. It's a different kind. Of radio talk program. We're the radio talk show. Is not hosted by a right wing whack or a convicted felon. No, I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're gonna need it. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred talk. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Eight six six. It's Thursday, and time for another edition of Like Is One Hundred One. Can you attend my class? It is for your own good. I mean, a girl decides how far she's going to let you go in the first five minutes. You in my class? I am today. All right, I got an idea, but it's got to stay between us. It's really simple. We just got to make an agreement. Here's the deal: we all get laid before we graduate. It's not like I haven't been trying to get laid. Think about when you work out, Oz. You got to have someone there, right? Someone to spot you, someone to keep you motivated. Well, that's exactly what we can do for each other. I mean, we'll, we'll be there to keep each other on track. Separately, we are flawed and vulnerable, but together we are the masters of our sexual destiny. I mean, this is our very manhood at stake. We must make a stand here and now. No longer will our penises remain flaccid and unused. We will fight for every man out there who isn't getting laid and should be. This is our day. This is our time. And by God, we will not stand by and watch history condemn us into celibacy. Amen. I like that. Yes, we will make a stand. We will succeed. About time. We will get laid. Yes. Yeah. It's like is 101, the ongoing on-air adult education course. That teaches men how to get more tail for less money. Just as importantly, we teach women how men think. I am your professor. This is my classroom. Class is in session. This is where we teach the tenets of Lycus 101. We have not had a new class in a while. It was the winter break for Lycus 101. And so uh, we begin a new year, 2008, with the following reminders. Hopefully, first of all, you guys did dump that bitch for the holidays, and you've been getting more ass than a toilet seat, as I promised you. Seriously, did anybody take my advice on, for example, Christmas Eve? Anybody hit a bar on Christmas Eve? How about New Year's Eve? Did you see those girls alone at the bar that we put in the human grab bag? They were there for the taking, all these women sitting there drowning their sorrows because they got dumped. Hopefully some of you took my advice, went out and got that. You nailed it. You hit it. Hit it hard. Hopefully you did. Now remember, boys, if you've been keeping it on the DL for now, you want to uh, remain missing until February the 15th, right after Valentine's Day. You do not want to be anywhere within her sight. You don't want to be taking her calls. You don't want to be responding to her text messages. You need to just stay out of sight until you have passed Valentine's Day. That way you will not be pressured for engagement rings, expensive gifts, dinners out, flowers, or any of that stuff. No to all of that. All of it. Nine. Now, you know the basics of Lycus 101, and if you're new to this classroom, my job is to teach you how to get laid without spending an enormous amount of money, time, or energy on any broad. We believe in the three strikes, you're out rule. Any woman who doesn't give it up on the first three dates, there's no chemistry. You're done. Done. Move on to the next. Three strikes, you're out. Like us one one students don't spend more than forty dollars on a date. Forty's the maximum. 
If you can get away with spending zero or you can get her to pay, do it. Doesn't matter how much money you spend. If she doesn't want to have sex with you, she's not going to do it. That simple. We do not date single mothers. Single mothers have already made one mistake that some poor sucker is paying for. Do you want to pay for the next accident? The next, uh-oh, I had a woman refer to it as, oh, it was an uh-oh. It was an oops. Yeah, you want to be paying for the next oops? Jesus. I don't get it. By the way, am I imagining that Dean is screaming at the top of his lungs? It just seems louder today than ever. Who is he screaming at? Somebody on the phone. Okay. Just checking. Our screener, Dean J. D'Amelio, is screaming at the top of his lungs down the hall. <laughs> he just apologized, but I could hear every word he was saying. And the thing is, Dean curses. And I can hear stuff coming down the hall that better not be getting on the air. Tell you right now. <laughs> Uh, you didn't curse this time, team, but uh, I have heard you curse, yes. And hopefully nobody noticed or cared. <laughs> oh, you didn't do the energy drinks again, did you? Come on. We got to, I don't, you know, somewhere in the world they're still making quaaludes. We have to find them. <laughs> energy drinks. Yeah. If there's anything in the world Dean doesn't need, well, there's two things that Dean doesn't need, okay? One is a bottle of olive oil, and two is an energy drink. <laughs> Jesus. Anyway. Yes, yeah, so as I was telling you, no single mothers. We don't want to make any mistakes with you. We don't want to be paying for your mistakes. And finally, uh, just in uh, briefly recounting the basic tenets of Lycus 101, uh, we will not stay on any date with any woman who answers your cell phone or responds to a text message in the course of a date. N-O, no. If she's looking at her cell phone, I'm out. I mean it. Out. Those are the basics. If you're looking to avoid relationships, avoid commitment, if you're looking to avoid marriage, if you're looking to avoid spending money, time, and energy on bitches who don't put out, all you need to do is make contact with your professor. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Likas 101 ought to be a required course for every child entering elementary school. And then they should give it to them again in junior high. And they should give them a refresher course in high school. And if they ever make it to college, which I'm afraid most of your listeners don't, they should teach an advanced course. It's Likas 101 on the Tom Likas Show. It's like us 101. I am your professor at 1 800 5 800 Tom. Your professor saying hello to all of those out there who can't maintain an erection. We feel your pain. We do. Let's say hello here to Mike on the Tom Likas hey, Tom, show. How are you doing? I'm okay. Hey, I had a two-part question for you. Um, what's the purpose of a backhanded compliment, and should you use one on a date? Backhanded compliments are a very effective way of helping to erode a woman's self-esteem. And it is the perfect crime because a backhanded compliment sounds like a compliment, but in reality, it's a dig. Right, right. Okay. So would you recommend using it, like, near the beginning of the date? Oh, or the uh, end? anywhere in there. Anywhere you can get one in. Especially, you, know, you don't want it to sound forced or fake. Okay. But okay. anytime something relevant comes up, anytime you have an opportunity to to tell her that you like women with a little meat on their bones, or <laughs> I understand what you mean. anytime you have a chance to say, you know, some guys like big breasts, but I'm just not one of those guys. Yeah, I understand. Exactly. <laughs> anytime you have a way to uh, get that in there, you do. Absolutely. Thanks, Tom. I appreciate it. Can you take me out with, uh, with a beer and a burp, please? A beer and a burp. Absolutely. All right. I'll get you a beer and a burp. Are you ready? 
Big Tom. Uh. <laughs> One usually follows the other. Isaac on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Isaac. Yes. How you doing, Tom? All right, Isaac. Good. Good to talk to you, brother. I uh, just wanted to let you know I'm the lucky son of a gun who cleaned up house on Christmas Eve. No, to, do uh, tell. I want to hear about it. Yeah. I went to a uh, frequent local bar in Temple City, which is not too far from where I live. Um, and, you know, in the event of certain situations, it's walking distance, which is kind of good. So long story short, went down there Christmas Eve, probably around 3 in the afternoon. Um, just put my eyes on the largest rack and best looking rear end I could find in the house. Pretty much walked up to her, bought her a drink, and she was that, you know, picture perfect or textbook person you talk about with the low self esteem and all that good stuff. Being a like a student, I put the best of my skills for the past two years that I've had from you to work, and they totally paid off. Took her home, you know, wasn't, wasn't at the bar with her for more than an hour before I took her home, and, you know, close hit the floor, things were happening, things were good. A couple hours after that, you know, she got in her car and went home. And uh, me me feeling thirsty after uh, putting in the good old work from your skills, um, had to go back to that same bar, grab another cold beer, did the same thing, and took another girl home. Oh, right yeah. That, <laughs> and pretty much cleaned up house again and sent her on her way. Ho, ho, ho. And this all, honestly, this all went down before midnight, so it wasn't even Christmas morning before I was able to put myself to rest and send them on their way after putting your skills to work and i can't thank you enough brother so so you did this on my recommendation oh yeah I, and this worked the same thing last year on unfortunately it was just one girl instead of two girls but uh unfortunately my skills i guess are better themselves thanks to you and your help and uh, the rest of our students out there and i just can't thank you enough i'm here to help isaac thank you thank you take me out uh kobe stop please here you go isaac oh. Oh. this is about us oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Oh. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. See, that's what I told you guys. New Year's Eve, Christmas Eve, you go out to the bars. There's women out there drowning their sorrows. They are ava more available than any woman you'll ever meet at a bar. Two of the most productive nights of the year. Uh, the third best night, by the way, third best... Valentine's Day, February 14th. That's your next opportunity to do what Isaac did. Any woman alone at the bar on Feb 14 is there for one reason and one reason only. Because she doesn't have a boyfriend. She's feeling sorry for herself. She's drinking. Perfect opportunity to, 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 to just go right at it, go in for the kill, then dump it on the uh, curb and move on. Getting excited just thinking about it. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Joe on the Tom Likas Show with your professor. Hello. How you doing, Tom? Doing great. Outstanding, brother. Hey, I agree with almost everything you say. The only thing is the thing about single moms. I, I, I love them. Why? Why? Single moms, they have that, whole, they have that, that need for the attachment. You get to them, you get to a certain point, they're quick to put out for that attachment, and then bam. Yeah, but there's a, there's a reason why. But there's a reason why. Who cares about the reason? Yeah, but what happens if the condom leaks, breaks, cracks, or some such? Well, see, you, you run that risk with anybody, though. No, no, but a single mom, you already know what she's going to do if she gets knocked up. Unfortunately, you know, and I would agree with that. You run that risk with every woman you encounter. No, but the point is, the risk isn't the same. You see, a single mom, 100% of them are going to give birth again if they get knocked up again. Uh, somebody who's never had a baby, some might have a baby, but some won't. And see, I, I just, I, I, I can see that, and I can understand the point of view, but like I said, it's just one of those things. They were my bread and butter. I go to them. You know, fill that fill that that attachment void, and then as soon as they feel like they're getting too close, they break it off, and I walk away scot free. Now, there's that risk that they will keep. You know, if you do get them pregnant, but at the same time, I believe that that eighty percent of women out there 
would keep the baby. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, trust me. I have paid for four abortions, and if it was 80%, I wouldn't have uh, been so lucky. So that's is that basically the only reason why you think that... that Single moms are not good today simply because you know they'll keep it if they get pregnant? That's one of many reasons. Uh, other reasons are if you're actually dating them and not just uh, not just having sex with them, they will expect you to pay for things involving their children, everything from their rent to theme park admissions to movie tickets or whatever. On top of that, they can't get child care, and you may want to get laid, and that chick may not be available at the time you want it. There's a million reasons. That's why she's not the only one, brother. I understand that, but my primary reason is because if the condom leaks and she gets knocked up, you know you're going down. You're paying. Okay, and she's hoping enough. and she's hoping that's what's going to happen, too. Trust me. Well, uh, my experiences have shown otherwise. I can see where you're coming from on that point. But like I said, when I was single and I was doing that, single moms were always a sure thing. A sure thing for a reason. And now we're repeating ourselves, so thank you. It's Zoe on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. It is so good to finally talk to you. I'm a huge, huge fan of yours. Actually, my boyfriend got me hooked up to you. Love so. that. Yes, yes. And I'm a first-time caller. I just want to say, number one, I agree with everything that you're saying. Um, I think a lot of women are in denial, but yet they're the same ones who put on the short skirt and go to the club getting the free drinks. So I don't understand this, like all these women that call, no, we don't do that, and blah, 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 whatever. But I want to call about the 101 thing and um, give some guys some advice out there. Um, I am a Sicilian girl. I've done some modeling, 23 years old. You know, I'm a hot piece of A or whatever. I don't know if I can curse on the air. No, of course. But... <laughs> you, know, you, you The fact that you had to answer that, ask that oh, question, I know, I know. means I, you I know you can't. Know. Exactly. I definitely know that I can't. So um, I kept it out. But um, is now the the number one thing that you say, if they don't give it up after the first three dates, they are not going to. And you're absolutely right. Women can tell in the first five minutes if they're going to sleep with you or not. And I can tell you that money is very important. Yes, we love money. We all want that. And we all want a guy with money. But we really want to know that the guy can F our brains up. Okay, the biggest thing that women want to know is that we're going to be satisfied in the bedroom. And if they deny that, oh, I just want somebody to love me, blah, 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 no. That's why women put up with crap from their boyfriends. They get cheated on. They get done, all this kind of stuff. It's not because they're weak and they can't leave and they feel like they can't do it on their own. They literally think that somebody else is not going to be able to come around and please them. So if you give off that kind of energy that kind of sexual energy that makes her believe, whether or not you have confidence in yourself or not, if you make her believe that you have that sexual confidence, I'm telling you, she will be like putty in your hands. And that is, that's every woman. And that's why you, uh, when you treat a woman like crap, she figures you got balls. No, you're absolutely right, Tom. And I'm going to uh, tell you, that is how my boyfriend got me with absolutely no money. And I'm not saying he treated me like crap. But he led me to believe, like, nobody is going to do you like me. So you might as well stop trying. And after a while, I don't know, I guess we start to believe it. And uh, I'll tell you, I kept him. <laughs> so, really? Yes. That is how you, that's how you can keep a guy at least for a little while. I don't know. You know, if you're young, I say go out, have a good time. But um, to the advice for the women out there, you know, they always want to, men don't really care too much about, you know, what you look like. I mean, they care. But most of all, they want to know that you're going to, you know, you know, duck a good sick, if you know what I'm saying, and uh, cook some really good food. And that's how, you know, and if women would just relax and uh, kind of get on their job a little bit more with that, I think men would stay around a little bit more. But because they're so quick to, you know, oh, you know, I want you to take me out and do this and do that and blah, 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 blah. You know, men start getting a little antsy, and they want you to sleep with them right away. And I think everybody, if they just chilled out a little bit more, uh, would probably get a lot more action. See, we have two different ways of getting to know each other, men and women do. 
Uh, a woman wants to get to know men by talking and talking and talking and maybe dancing and then talking, yeah. talking some more. Absolutely. No, absolutely. And, absolutely. and for a man, we don't hear a word you say until we've had sex with you. Very true. And that's why... It's women, part of how we get to know you is by having sex with you. Ab, no, and at, you're absolutely right. And that's why so many women get dumped after they get laid, because they're not good. Or know? because we just don't like you. Or they just are not like, exactly. So my advice to these men out here is, you know, if you want a woman to sleep with you, and you're not so confident in that area or that department of yourself. Who cares? Make her believe that you are God's gift to the vagina. And I guarantee you, whether you have money or not, she will give it up. She will sleep with you. Because all women, at the end of the day, want to know that who is, whoever they're sleeping with is going to satisfy them. And if you lead them to believe that, I'm telling you. They will not go anywhere, nowhere. And you can do and treat them however you want to. That's why these guys are out here treating them in all kinds of crazy ways because they, these women are getting, you know, banged out and loving it. <laughs> so, I mean, that is my advice to the men out there. Well, thank you, Zoe. And when you're done with your boyfriend, give me a ring because I could use some good Italian food myself. <laughs> Absolutely, Tom. Thank you so much. And I could, bang, I could bang you good, believe me. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, yes, I can. I don't know. I don't know if it's about the money or about the banging with you. you, you I can never tell from the from uh, what you say. You you say that it's the money, but I don't know. I think these women say they must stay around for other reasons. They, well, they have no idea that they're going to get that little bonus. Right. Right. A little Christmas bonus from Tom. Right. right. <laughs> I love it. Well, Tom, I appreciate you, and um, I, you know what? To all these idiot women that call in and say all this stuff, blah blah blah, they're completely in denial and they're talking to themselves. And us real LA women out here, we support you. We love what you're doing, and keep up the good work. Thank you, Zoe. And please take me out with a thank you, Jesus. Here you go, Zoe. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Jesus. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. Chris on Like Us 101, hello. Hi, Tom. Hi, Chris. I'm so happy to talk to you. I listen to you every single day. It's like I have this big love-hate relationship with you or for you, and it just it, it turns me on and it turns me off. But the reason I'm calling is because all single mothers are not bad. I'm one, and I've gotten pregnant twice since I've had my daughter, and I've had abortions. I'm happy with my one kid and see no need to have another one unless I get married. Okay. Okay. And so your I'm point just, and your I'm point sorry. is? My point is I was just listening to you talk to the other gentleman and was saying that they'll all keep the baby if they get pregnant again. And that's not true. That's not true. I'm, I'm happy I, with my uh, Well, look, uh, are there exceptions to every rule? Yes. Yes. But generally speaking, generally speaking, you have spoken um, with your ovaries, and we know that in most cases, if you had one and you get pregnant again, in most cases, you're going to want to have the next one. Well, I'm 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 not having that. I'm not having that. And I just heard the guy talking with you, and you telling him, you know, not to mess with the single moms. I think we're very catering. Um, I am, at least, like to cook for a guy, like to go out, like to have fun, have some drinks, chill, you know. Yeah. But and what about the tubal ligation, dear? I'm sorry? What about the tubal ligation? You know, I I, I really, I, I can't respond to that, but. Well, you, you could respond to it. No. All, all, all I wanted to say is that we all would not keep a baby if we got pregnant 100% of the time. That's it, and I love you. But you see, and the reason you don't have a tubal ligation is because you want to leave your options open. Well, if I, I would like to get married one day, and if I did get married and my husband wanted to have kids, then yes. But so outside it, of that, outside well, of that, So no, why did you I'm have not, one baby if, 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 if you wanted to wait till you got married to have kids? I'm sorry, my phone keeps cutting. Why did now. you have one baby? 
if what you want to do is wait until you get married to have kids. Well, I was engaged at the time when I got pregnant. So, you know, I thought we were going to go through with it, but I was very, very young and very naive and really didn't know what I was getting into. So you would not recommend this to the young women listening tonight? To the young ladies that are listening tonight? Yes. Oh, hell no. No. <laughs> No, no, no. If you don't have any kids, stay that way until, I just say until marriage. Even though all marriages don't last, that's, that's a little more stable than a boyfriend or even a fiancé. So, no, hell no, hell no. Keep your freedom, travel, do everything in the world that your heart desires, and no babies, no babies, no babies, unless you're married. It's not worth it. You lose all your freedom. And it's just not worth it. I love my daughter to death, but sometimes I do sit back and think about what my life would be like if I had not done that. Be a lot better. I Yeah. You know, I, I do the best that I can as a single mom. You know, I still... Because you can have a baby any time. I, I can, and I'm, but I'm not. So, in other words, your life could be better, and then... On that base of career that you worked on, education you worked on, money you yeah. saved, you could then have a kid and have a much better life for everybody. Oh, definitely, definitely, definitely. I so, ladies, if you're trying to, you know, hook up with a dude because you think he has this or that, a lot of times these guys are fronting too. They really don't have what they act like they have. So a lot of girls end up being ass out. Sounds good to me, Chris. Thanks a lot for the call. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-866. Better to have chicks who live a little bit of distance from you, don't have time to see you. She's got three more years to finish her PhD. So. Then you seem, by the way, you seem so accommodating. Honey, you've got that PhD to study for. You take all the time you need working on that. I understand. And when you get all that free time, you bang on the chicks. That's what you do. It's the Tom Likas Show. The Tom Likas Show coming to you from Hollywood. 1-800-5800-TOM. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. It's Likas 101, the ongoing on-air adult education course. That teaches men how to get more tail for less money. We also teach women how men think at 1-800-5800-TOM. It's 1-800-5800-866. Anthony on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom Likas. Anthony. How's it going, man? Short time, first time. Going great. Oh, man, I mean, honestly, if it wasn't for my dad and my older brother getting me into you, man, I don't know, man. I would not be getting this much tail. I'm not joking, Tom. I mean, the trust that you give to the kids, I mean, I'm 18 years old, Tom. I just graduated. And, I mean, the trust that you give to us is, is not like, it's not like it's like science. It's nothing. It's just like, you know, you don't need to be spending money on all these broads. I mean, for example, uh, the winter break that just came up, you told me, don't don't be spending money. The girls are okay. Check this out. This is one situation I got into. This one girl just broke up with her boyfriend. She's uh she's 19 years old. She just broke up with her boyfriend. I'm 18. She uh, Tom. Hello. I'm right here. Oh, okay. She broke up with her boyfriend. Bam. She uh we she talked to me on MySpace. You know what MySpace is, right? <laughs> I've heard of it. Okay, I know you know what it is, but okay, so. She talks to me on MySpace, see what she's doing. She says, you know, I haven't talked to you in a while. And I say, yeah, because you've been with your boyfriend. Bam, I take her out to the Red Robin. And then say, no, she breaks out the credit card and pays for me. And then after that, I don't know what was going on, but I'm sure you can imagine this. At the Red Robin? She spared no expense. Yeah, yeah. And then right after that, she, when I'm, I, have a, I have a 325 BMW Coupe. And I'm what kind of cheese home. did you get on your burger? Huh? What kind of cheese did you get on your burger at the Red Robin? Uh, I got clutch and fries. I didn't get a burger. She got a bacon burger, I think, or something like that. With American cheese. All right. So, this out. so I'm at the Red Robin. She pays, and then we're leaving, and we're hopping in the car, and little did I know, she reaches over, and I'm sure you could 
to understand this. She, she just started saying something to my zipper, and I was like, what the hell is going on? You just broke up with your boyfriend, and this was three days. That's what Christmas. they do. That's what they do. Three days before Hey, hey, we're on the air. Sorry, sorry, Tom, sorry. But, yeah, I mean, this concert that you give to the kids and myself, I mean, this is... It's genius just because we, we never heard it from anyone else, but now we heard it from our dad, and now we're masters. That's right. I mean, I'm I'm the dad you never had. Exactly. But, I mean, this is awesome. Like, my dad has told me this stuff before, but I didn't really listen to him until, you know, and then until my dad said, listen, tune in to Tom like this, 97.1, 3 to 8, Monday to Friday, and I was like, all right. I've been listening to you for four months, Tom, and I'm not going to lie. I just graduated high school. I just started my first semester in college, and I seriously have been getting more tail, more anything in in all my four years in high school. I'm proud and, of I mean, you. It's awesome. No joke, Tom. You treat them like crap, and they come back for more, Anthony. It's weird. It's seriously, it, 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 it's it's weird. I mean, I, I, I'm a true believer now. I didn't believe it when I first started hearing it. I was like, dude, is this guy serious? And then, I, you know. I start falling the steps a little bit, and bam, just stuff started popping up like that. I mean, girls start texting me. I know where I don't respond. Three, four days, five days later, I'll respond to them, and they're like, "Oh my God, Anthony, I haven't talked to you in forever." You know what? Do you what have you been up to? I'm like, "Oh, you know, just whatever, whatever, this and that." But man, Tom, it's, it's awesome, man. Well, I'm so glad you're happy, Anthony. Oh, and Tom, another one, another quick story. Uh, check this out. Uh, this one girl, she's uh, she's 18 years old. She's a senior in high school, and I ha and I haven't seen her since last year, since I graduated. Really fine little Heine, nice petite little Asian girl. Check this out. Uh, she 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 got my number off of MySpace. I gave it to her. She called me up the next day, and uh, she goes, to, uh, "Well, I want to say she goes to school over here in the Garden Grove district." And this, this little that I know, she says, hey, uh, I'm not going to go to class today. Uh, what do you got going on? I says, I'm on spring break. Uh, I mean, winter break for uh, for college. College ends a little different from high school. And she goes, I'm going to class. I go, oh, I, I said, I'm just going to be at home for at least, like, two hours before I go back to work. And she's like, oh, hey, do you mind hanging out with me for a little bit? And I and I touch her. I was like, yeah, sure, whatever, come over. And I honestly have not seen her for almost about a year. She comes over. She goes, hey, why don't we watch a movie or something like that? We lay on my bed, and then I put in Boiler Room. I love that movie right there. And, bam, she just, she out of nowhere, she just gets on top of me. Said it again. You can't say that word on the air. Sorry, Tom. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's getting a little carried away. I know. Yeah, but, I mean, it's awesome, Tom. I appreciate everything, man. I mean, this is awesome. This is the best. I don't even have any other... Any other radio stations on my on my thing, one, two, three, four, five, and six thing. But I just have ninety seven point one all the Very way across nice. the board. Very nice. All the way across the board. I like that. Yes, sir. Proud of you. Thank you, Tom. Can you take me out uh old school? Of course I can. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. This is Mario on the Tom Likas show, Likas one oh one. Hello. Father, how you doing? Son, I'm doing great. Great, great. Had a quick question for you. Uh, recently went out, well, actually met this chick at a nightclub, uh, got her number, exchanged numbers, obviously, and, uh, you know, met her up again another night. Then she comes out with that she's married, and I'm, uh, you know, I don't know if I should really get involved or whatnot. She got no kids, pretty young, but uh, who's talking about involvement? You're just talking about getting laid. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, but you know, still pretty big thing. Uh, uh, so I mean, I don't know what to do. What do you mean? Do you you want to get laid? Is she going to give you what you oh, want? Yeah, yeah. I know. It's, it's, it's a done deal. All right. So so what's the problem? I mean, your your concern is. Uh, Will she bust you? Like if I don't, yeah, I don't know. Well, that's what you need to find out, and you can talk to her about that. Yeah, I mean, I guess, and then I mean, not to mention, you know, I've heard some pretty. I got a bunch of buddies, you know, done the same thing, uh, and kind of blew up in their face. So that's why. Do you know a woman once invited me to go uh, to the same hotel when she was on a honeymoon? She told me what hotel she and her fiancé would be staying in. Yeah. That's well, true. And what happened? 
they ended, for, for whatever reason, they ended up not getting married. But they were planning a wedding in Hawaii, and she told me where they would be staying and encouraged me to take some time off, go to Hawaii for a few days, and just stay in the same hotel. And then when he goes off to you know, do whatever, play golf or whatever he does, then right. she'd slip down to my room. Okay. Just get in and get out then, right? Yeah. You know, I, I was uh, all too ready. All right. All right. Take me out. Michael Vick style. Michael Vick style. Here you go. <laughs> One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom Likas one oh one. I am your professor. Mary on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey Tom. Hey Mary. How you doing? Doing great. Hello? I said I'm doing great. Great. Um, I just wanted to tell you you're talking about like women keeping babies. Right. I would not. I'm too young, too beautiful. And I am not ready to have kids, especially financially. So, so you've never you've never had a baby. I've never had a baby, and I'm 23 years old. And I was actually um, when I was younger, I had the whole mindset that I shouldn't have sex until I got married and whatever. And that all changed when I um, called my boyfriend, and um, I knew that if I were to get pregnant, I would be in complete a, a complete mess so i just it won't happen i'm calling him all the time well, we're losing you, dear, but I, I think we get the message here, and I thank you for that. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Robert on the Tom Likas Show. Hey, what's up, Dad? Not much, son. Um, how are you? Do you care? I care very much. Doing great. I wouldn't be where I am without you. I have a question for you. Yeah. Uh, I know how you always suggest going out to the bar for Valentine's Day, all that, but uh, what if you're under 21? Well, first of all, it depends on the state where you are and how the regulations work. Uh, there are many bars where you can walk in. You just can't buy alcohol. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. No, but you, you need to check and see. I mean, there are some places that don't check ID at the door. Okay. Uh, some of the ones I've noted uh, that don't seem to do that are chains like TGI Fridays. I've I've never seen now they may and I may be wrong. I've no, never they, seen them check in at the door like a nightclub. You walk and you know why? Because it's also a restaurant. Yep. So you can walk in there. You can sit down at the bar. You can order a club soda or something that looks like a drink. Order a glass of juice. How does she okay. know there's no vodka in it? Okay. You could, do, by the way, TGI Friday's greatest place to meet those hot little receptionists and stuff. Yeah. You know, yeah, they're they're too che uh, they're too cheap to like buy, uh, you know, a real meal at a restaurant. They get some potato skins, some <laughs> Long Island iced teas. That's where you meet them. Not that I've ever done it. Uh -huh. Hundreds of times. Okay. Um, also, I want to uh, thank you for your advice. Uh, it really works. Being a jerk. <laughs> yeah, being a jerk. Women love jerks. Well, I got one of the one of these little girls, you know, saying, oh, I'm a southern girl. I don't do that kind of stuff. But, uh, you know, I've been acting like a real jerk, you know, following your rules. Uh, she texts me. I ignore it for a couple of days, respond a couple of days later, and, you know, she's ready to put out. <laughs> yeah, that's what they do. I get guys tell me they don't believe me. Oh, I believe you. I, I had a hard time believing you at first, but uh, I believe you. It, it, it works. Yeah. I hope the guys out there are hearing this. Uh, I hope they are, too. Uh, can you take me out, Freddie Will Wilhite? Uh, Freddie Wilhite style. Here you go. I shot my wife in the stomach with 38. Why did you do this? She enticed me, and she ridiculed me throughout my lifetime. I'll see if she's alive. I think she did. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at blowmeuptom.com. The Tom Likas Show.